just pitching well. Yeah, both pitchers came out ready to go. They looked like two uh, two aces, and I just realized the fact that that kid's only a sophomore for them. I mean, that's impressive right there to come out there and battle like he did. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we had some balls, find some holes, and we, we moved some guys over well. Mm -hmm. um, did some situational things and had better approaches, but both pitchers, I mean, that's playoff baseball right there. They both did their jobs today. It seemed like after you see them once, it seemed like the guys started to get their time down a little more, more hard hit outs at least. Yeah, just better approaches, I think, too. I mean, the first time around, first pitch swings, that weak ground outs, weak pop outs, everything, just not good approaches at the plate. That, that I think they're a little amped up into uh, obviously the new season. And so they start to get too uh, too excited up there and want to be a hero in the first inning. Mm -hmm. They got to realize it's a long game, obviously, and to take their time and have quality of bats. Well, I mean, Mondello, unbelievable again, uh, especially those middle innings. After the first two batters, I thought he just started dominating. Yeah, he did much better. Obviously, he was a little bit off in that first inning, getting behind the very first hitter of the game, 3-0, is not something you want to do against Tommy Lapham, who I've known in this area is one of the better hitters and play ball players in the area. And so you don't want to do that. You get a guy like that on base right away, and that's why they scored. Uh, thankfully, our defense, we made some plays in that first inning. We, we limited it to that one run. Luckily, I mean, we could have easily been down two or three to nothing after that first inning. So that was fortunate that John did that and then he started to buckle down a lot more. Mm -hmm. He's using the curveball to set everything up today. Yeah, I mean that's the good thing with John that um, he's worked hard over three, three or four years to, to get multiple pitches so mm -hmm. um, if he can build confidence in it that's nice. I mean obviously I just I just want him to throw strikes. That's the most important pitch for me. I mean so whatever pitch he throws it with is great but I need a first pitch strike, get ahead in the game and, and make the hitter start going for his pitches. Yeah, I want him obviously start you know, this table setter on offense uh, the, the home run and the leadoff double in the sixth. Yeah. Yep, I mean Marcus is uh, especially for a young guy. He's a he's got a great approach at the plate. That's the one thing he's had all year. I don't think there's been a point this year where we've had to talk to him about uh, ha having an approach and everything. I mean, it, so obviously today was unbelievable. I'm glad he, he got under one a little bit. The wind may have helped it a little bit, but good to get his first career home run. And then the big one though is, is obviously the double um, and taking a good hard turn, close play at second base, which he kind of got dirty and took a slide right there to make sure that he was safe. But uh, he got in there and set the tone for obviously the three, four, five hitters and. I mean, at that point there, what was big is moving guys over, getting yeah. bunts down and everything. I was the happiest with the Next round, we'll probably Drake it. Drake it or Brayton, you have no idea. I mean, you know baseball. I've yeah. been reading the paper how it's the uh, postseason of baseball is one of the craziest of all yeah. the high school sports. Yeah. So you have no idea. It's, uh, well, it's good that we get to go watch them tomorrow and get kind of an idea what they are. Drake, it's obviously, I think they're like us and dropped to Division Three this year. Uh, yeah. um, so they're going to be a strong program, and then uh, and we don't know much about Brighton, so hopefully we can find out a little bit, and we'll be ready for either one, hopefully.